if like me you're interested in GoPros, you've probably seen a lot about this particular piece of equipment from GoPro. It's called the GoPro Volta. Now when it came out there were lots of people who obviously got these sent to GoPro. A lot of the photographer and video channels got sent these and they reviewed them. I got mine shortly after that, back in February. So I thought if you're interested in GoPro and you're interested in some accessories, you might want to know what this has been like for us over the last few months of, of actual real use. And uh, I thought I'd tell you how I got on with it. Also going to tell you why you might want to buy it and why you might not want to buy it. Yeah, so if I'm out and about and I'm out for the whole day, this will be my setup. It's the GoPro Volta with the GoPro Hero 10 with the media mod on it. So that's the media mod. The Volta cost me £88.99 and that's with a £36 discount for being a GoPro subscriber. So what is the GoPro Volta? Well, it's a tripod. It's got some legs that fold out here. The legs come out. You can turn the head round like that, tilt it back, and it becomes a very useful tripod, like that. So you can plonk that down. And the tripod mode is really good if you're filming uh, long shots or perhaps time lapse or something like that. You can just leave that uh, sitting somewhere. Nearly forgot to mention one of the most important things about the GoPro is is actually a power bank. There's a way of powering the GoPro and keeping the GoPro charged up all the time you're using it. It's a selfie stick, so you can just use it as a selfie stick. It's a remote control and this was the thing that really interested me. Uh, it means that I can operate the GoPro. I'll just turn it round, turn it round the right way. I'll just turn it round the right way. It means I've got my thumb on the remote button and I can operate it just from there. It does work with my Hero 8, but not all the remote, well, the remote feature doesn't work because that wasn't designed for the Hero 8. And you can operate the Hero 8 with this, but uh, I don't tend to use it that way. It comes with a little door here, if I can get that open. And it's got a little rubber cover to keep it weatherproof, but not waterproof. And you can charge this through there, and that would charge the Volta. It comes with a USB cable and very usefully a lanyard to stop it being dropped. Uh, one time I wasn't using the lanyard, I actually dropped the whole thing, the camera and the, the, uh, the Volta. And I, if you can see that, I managed to crack the case a little bit on the Volta, a little bit's fallen off, but it still seems to be working okay, thankfully. It doesn't seem to have affected it. Also, it also landed on the GoPro's lens just there, so there's a little scratch on that. So I have been using this and I've been throwing it around and all sorts of things and it's, it sits nicely in a bag and you can carry it around with you. It weighs, it makes it weigh a fair bit, so uh, there is some extra weight there. It's got this pop-out connection thingy, which I haven't used. But the idea of that is you can attach that to a chest mount and you can use that and that could attach it to the window I suppose and you can use that. Obviously you need then to turn it round and, uh, and swivel it accordingly like that. I think it's a little bit heavy for doing that, I'm perfectly honest. On the back of it, it has what's called a quarter 20 mount can see that and that allows you to attach it to a tripod which has been quite useful. You can screw it into a tripod and it will sit on top of a bigger tripod and you can get a bit of height on it. I've been using it with the media mod but you can actually just use it with the GoPro on its own. Let me show you that. So you have to unscrew the thumb screw Whoopcha. try not to drop it. Take it out of the GoPro medium mod case 
and go and find the door for the back of the GoPro. So I'll go and do that. GoPro actually supply what's called a pass-through door for it. Now you can see it's obviously got a hole in it and that's where the USB cable goes. So they do supply this door for it. And that door fits on the GoPro. Push that on and it sort of and it looks like that. Now in that format, the GoPro is weatherproof but not waterproof. Obviously you've got a hole in there and that hole is designed for the connector for the connector on the Volta. So you put that, he said, put that through there. Flip out the little legs on the GoPro, which are a bit difficult when your fingernails are broken. And you can use the Volta with, I always like to call it a naked GoPro, but <laughs> with the GoPro in its uh, undressed mode if you like so you can use it like that and that's quite useful i suppose if you're going to be um, getting spray on it or perhaps it's raining or something but do bear in mind this is not waterproof so don't drop it in the river now in this mode you can operate the gopro and you don't need the remote control There we are, it's filming me. There we are, that's filming me now. And that is without using the remote control that's built into the Volta. So that cable is obviously operating the GoPro through there. And I can stop it. I can use this button to change modes, photo, time lapse, video back to video and I can use that then and check what my next prompt is. So that's quite a useful way to use the GoPro on its own. Now if you want to use a remote control which means that you can then use the media mod we'll put it back together again with the media mod on it and I'll show you how the remote control works. That just take the door off that just pulls away unscrew it fold the legs down push the gopro back into the media mod now the media mod's useful like that it's got a little wind cover there it works a little bit reasonably well but it does mean you can attach microphones a wireless mic in my pocket i've got a little lavalier mic and i've been filming virtually all day with the volta using that now there's a couple of tips when you're setting the volta up before you start download the latest update via your phone via quick for the GoPro. That's important because if you haven't already done the update, there is an update that allows the GoPro to support the Volta. If like me you are using what's called offloading uh, via Wi-Fi, which is when this is charging it tries to upload all the videos on here to the GoPro cloud, you need to switch that off. Otherwise as soon as you try to do anything, when you've plugged the connection into the back of this, it tries to upload the videos, which gets really confusing. I suggest when you set it up, you connect it without the media mod first, just see how it works, make sure everything works and you've got it working uh, and do it with the connections switched off on the GoPro and make sure that if you've got any other GoPros, they're switched off as well. So connect the media mod and connect via the connections as the USB on the media mod is only able to pass 
power through. Once you've got the GoPro connected, connect it up, but like I say, make sure that the GoPro connections are switched off, which will mean that you shouldn't be able to do anything with the GoPro. I can press this button here, which is the on off switch on the Volta, and it's not doing anything. It's not trying to switch the GoPro on. So switch the GoPro on, press the button on the side, and then we'll go into the connections and we'll set, set them up. So swipe down, swipe left, tap connections, connect device, and Volta. And it comes up with this screen here, and then what you do is you hold the Bluetooth button, I think it says for four seconds, and then it says connection successful. And now you can film using the remote button on the Volta. So that means stick your hand in the lanyard because it's more comfortable that way. And then you can use these buttons here. That to start, that to stop, that to change mode, or if you hold it for a few seconds, it switches off and then you can leave it like that and then when you're ready to film again it takes a few seconds to switch on to get itself sorted just wait a few seconds and then you're ready to film again now the other setting I think is vital to change on the GoPro is so that it doesn't automatically power off so let me show you that so swipe down Swipe left, preferences, general, and auto whoop, and auto power off needs to be switched off. Otherwise the GoPro will try and switch itself off whilst the Volta is on. I've had untold number of lockups when I didn't realise I needed the GoPro uh, not to be switching off automatically. If you need to switch it off now, it's obviously pressing the power button on the Volta. And that's what I used, plus the wireless mic, uh, when I filmed at the NEC and at the National Motorhome Show, and when we've been out and about all day. Batteries in the GoPro Volta are about three times the power of the battery that's actually in the GoPro. So a fully charged GoPro and a fully charged Volta will keep you going all day and that's the real benefit of this. You don't need to worry about carrying extra batteries, obviously you need the extra weight of this. Disadvantage of this, I tried to use a Ulanzi magnetic mounts with that, it doesn't really work with that. Um, the USB coil here, this thing here, I worry about that getting pulling on the, on the socket here. Um, but I have got I have got a subscription replacement cover for the GoPro. So if that was to fail, then obviously I've got that covered. I've seen some people that instead of having it that way around, I've plugged it in that way around, I suppose. Then it <laughs> pulls the other way on the socket, so I don't know if that's any benefit or not. And also that gets a little bit in the way of the screen. So what are the benefits of using the Volta? I think the main benefit is that it's easier to switch on and off with the remote control on the back of the selfie stick rather than having to reach up to the top or to the side uh, to operate the GoPro. It just means that you can do it with one thumb operation on there. You can check the battery status, you can operate the Bluetooth there. And you can do all that with, with one thumb, so that's one of the biggest benefits. So the possibility of all day filming now with the extra battery. The Volta battery is 4,900 milliamp hours. The GoPro battery is 1,720 milliamp hours. So the total you've got here is 6,620 milliamp hour of filming at 1080p. That would last you all day and that is brilliant. I don't need to worry about batteries or any other um, uh, kit and caboodle that I need to bring with me, battery chargers or whatever. So you can stick this in your bag 
and you've got something that will film all day, no problem. As long as you remember to switch off the auto power off on the GoPro. If you don't do that, the GoPro stops talking to the Volta and it just messes everything up. So just leave the GoPro on, always on, unless it's switched off obviously, and that will work fine. And I've just demonstrated what you shouldn't do with the Volta and the GoPro, and that's to unplug the lead whilst the GoPro is on. Just leave it plugged in and switch the camera on and off with the Volta. And I can switch it on again. It takes a few seconds to come on and get itself ready as I said earlier. In theory the Volta could charge other items like wireless microphones or perhaps even your phone so you could use it as a backup battery for your phone or other cameras like the uh, the Sony I'm using at the moment. The other benefit is that with the media mod you don't have to keep getting the camera out of the media mod which is a real faff and I've, I mentioned this when we originally got the Hero 8 is having to take this apart to, to change a battery when it's run out is an absolute faff and this it's been brilliant I haven't had to do that when we've been out so just as long as you keep it all like that as I said it's very useful for doing time lapses. I stuck it on the roof when we were away with the Bailey and uh, I filmed a time lapse of a ship going by so uh, it just stays on and you don't worry about it running out of battery. It's probably, and I haven't done it really, but it's probably quite useful. You could attach this to a chest strap and, and leave it on your chest um, and that could be filming everything and you can just film everything and then decide what you want to keep and what you want to throw away in the edit. Any downsides? Well I think that the, the downside is what I mentioned before. If you don't switch the um, auto power off off on the GoPro you get more lockups with the GoPro and I had more lockups with this setup than I ever did with the uh, the Hero 10 on its own so that's my biggest tip is make sure the auto power off is switched off on the Hero 10. It can last all day uh, when it's charged up. There's no need to unplug it. If it does go flat uh, you can just charge up the Volta. If the Volta does go flat just plug that into a fast charge outlet and everything will get charged up again. One drawback I have noticed is if the GoPro itself is not fully charged and you leave this in the bag with it connected permanently you're going to end up with the Volta trying to charge the GoPro and the Volta running out of battery trying to top up the GoPro. So my tip when you get home is to actually just unplug, unplug that, I won't do it now just unplug that and then charge up the Volta. But as long as you remember to do that. Another disadvantage is it is quite bulky and you do notice it after you've been holding it for a while. It's a little bit bulky for putting in smaller bags. I've tended to use my bigger camera bag for this or just simply carry it around with you. And it, it, you know, you've got it to hand then and you can film whenever you need to. So that's my review of the GoPro Volta. I've been using this now for three months and I'm quite pleased with it. Uh, it has been really useful and uh, just means that you don't need to worry about your battery running out. So I do recommend it with the caveats that I've said. If you've used the Volta or you've got a Volta or you're thinking about doing it, you've got any questions or anything, please leave them in the comments below. I'll leave a link uh, in the description below so you can check out uh, it on the GoPro website. I bought it directly from the GoPro website. Strongly recommend that you have a GoPro subscription. It means that the GoPro can get replaced if it gets broken. They won't replace things like the Volta if they get broken. It's the camera replacement uh, subscription. But it's nice to know this is 300 and something pounds. And if it was to break, I can get that replaced. So it's madness not to do the GoPro subscription and you get a discount off buying things like the Volta. So do check that out. So if you've got any other questions let me know 
Otherwise, give us a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and follow our journeys and we'll be bringing you more footage using this setup. So see you soon. Bye then.